I let her know. I'm like, you're a prostitute? Like, this is prostitution. She's like, no, I'm not no prostitute. What are you talking about? I ain't no prostitute. I love how me and this guy have such similar life experiences. What? I'm not no prostitute. No, I'm not. I'm just charging guys for sex. That's not prostitute. Bitch, you a ho, 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 ho. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out a story time called She Told Me to Pay For It. Bro, I ain't run into a lot of this shit, bro. I haven't run into any of this. I don't know, I feel like females have probably have tried to be like, hey, you gotta pay for it. But like, bro, I was dating this one girl. She was an IG model, and this dude that I was cool with at the time, I thought we was cool. This nigga hit her up and paid her for sex. Like, I'm just like, oh boy. Bro, I'm about to tell you guys a crazy story about this time I kicked it with this Instagram influencer. This happened like three or four months ago, bro. I, I, I'm gonna just tell y'all, I wasn't gonna tell anybody, but I mean, I ain't about to put old girl name on a screen or nothing. But look, I kicked it with this Instagram influencer. We had a good time, but y'all not gonna believe what these girls are out here doing. Let's talk about it, yo. Let's go. She wanna swim. Bro, listen, man. Listen. Maybe like three or four months ago, I kicked it with this beautiful, thick chocolate. Okay, she wasn't chocolate. She was maybe like my skin tone or a little bit darker. But anyway, I kicked it with this one Instagram influencer, bro. Right? I slid in her DMs. Me and her, we were talking here and there. Ha, ha, ha. Cracked a few little jokes. You feel me? And she was like, yeah, you could pull up. We could kick it. We could have a good time. I asked her, you smoke, you drink? She was like, don't worry about it. I got the weed and I got some drink. Just pull up. Oh, like, shit. Cool. Listen, <clears throat> I pulled up to baby girl house. I had to make sure my car was looking good. Y'all know I got, a, I got a Camaro. It's a nice little black drop top Camaro. So anyway, you know, I got the car washed. Car was looking good. I was looking good, feeling good. I threw on hella chains. I had the ice on it, nigga. I even had the little icy bracelet on it. I was feeling good, you feel me? Anyway, I pulled up to baby girl house. Call her like, yeah, I'm downstairs. She's like, all right, I'm coming. I'll let you up. She came downstairs. Off top, listen, I need to explain this to you guys. Off top, when you hang out with a girl, you have to break something called the touch barrier. So off top, when she came outside, I gave her a hug. I said, oh, what's up? It's nice to meet you. Boom. We hugged each other. You feel me? Yo, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nah, cuz, nah. Off top, I let her know, listen, this is about to be touchy-filly. We got a hug. Mm, said, nice to meet you. We probably watch you try to get you to pay for it. I'll do a little handshake. I ain't got to do no hug. I, same thing. But you do got to be touchy-feely, though. But you just got to be, like, real subtle and make sure she's comfortable. Don't be trying to just grab titty and stuff. Like, when you talk to her and shit, just put your hand on her shoulder. Hey, yeah, man, this one time I was kicking with the homie and shit, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's touch bear right there. And if she cool with that, you make some, you know, talk to her and shit, like lean in while you touch her shoulder and shit. Just lean in. You know, get close to her ear and shit. See how you're comfortable being close to each other and shit. Talking, we talking, we in the elevator, regular ass chit chat. But I'm gonna tell you something, while we in the elevator, I'm looking at her. I'm giving her the sexy eyes, you feel me? I'm looking at her up and down. She's being kind of shy. She's talking to me, she's looking at me. We, we lock eyes here and there. She kind of like smiling and shit. She even tells me. Like, I like how you look. Your tattoos, your whole vibe. She says this to me while we in the elevator, bro. I've only met her for like two minutes. She's like, I like how you look. Your tattoos, your vibe. You just, mm, I like that. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to smack. Easy. So, so, we go upstairs. We get in her apartment. She got a nice little apartment. So, we in her apartment. She like, yeah, I just got some weed. We could smoke. I got some Henny in the fridge. We could drink. I was like, yeah, grab the Henny. So we grabbed. Bro, I had this one chick try to get me to pay her $700 for sex. Real shit. We was having breakfast in my mansion, mind you. And she's like, yeah, you know, you know I charge $700 for that. She said, just went, just got, I finished the breakfast with her and everything. I was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, you know. And I just left. I, that was it. I paid no $700. I ain't paying. Nigga, God, if you don't get the what the pain for your butt cheeks, what? I mean, she was cute, but no, I'm good, just good. Henny, I'm drinking some Henny. She's drinking wine, and we're smoking together and just talking, talking about anything. You know, we're talking, we laughing. I'm really good at having conversations. Listen, when you have conversations with women, just let them talk. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack. It's very easy. You say little things here and there. You maintain your masculine frame. Don't be all like, yeah, girl. <laughs> no. You want to make sure 
that she sees you as like, mm, I'm trying to fuck the shit out of him. So anyway, we sitting there, we talking, we laughing, this and that, this and that. After we drinking, we smoking, we kind of lit, you feel me? I'm tipsy and I'm faded. She tipsy and she faded. I'm making sure, like I said, when I first hugged her, threw off the whole night of us kicking it. I'm touching her here and there. Like when she first was about to pour me my Henny, she went to her freezer to grab the Henny, right? The Hennessy. So I made sure, like I went over there next to her, I put my arm around the small of her back and I pulled her to me and I was saying something, I forgot what I said. She turned to me, my hand went down to her booty. I'm rubbing her booty right when we talking. She didn't even care. Nigga, I knew I was about to smash. Anyway, fast forward, you kicking it. We having a great time, right? We on her couch, we sitting all close. I got my arm around her. We start kissing. We kissing, we touching, all of that, right? This is when shit gets crazy. Why did she stop me? Listen, we kissing, we touching. She stops me and said, wait, wait, wait. How much you gonna pay me? I swear to God, we lit, we faded. Well, I'm lit at this time because I was drinking Henny straight up. So I was drunk, nigga, I'm drunk. And I was hot. Alright, so, yeah. Oh my god. Bro, I just had a female try to do the same thing to me. Like, well, it wasn't the same thing. She invited me out on a date. I meet her out there. And she's telling me how she can help me fix my credit and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, that actually sounds pretty good. She's like, yeah, I charge $1,000. I'm like, wait, what? And then she starts, like, going, like, yeah, so, you know, let me get the $1,000. So I'm like, what the fuck? You don't seem professional. This is supposed to be a day. She's like, oh no, yeah. See, look, she shows me a couple of messages of people saying she did a good job. I'm like, man, I'm good. I'm good. Females are literally going on dates with dudes and then just trying to find ways to trick them out of money, bro. I don't know, bro. It's all the way bad. Matter of fact, I'm about to cancel that date I got with her right now. I ain't. I ain't. Yep, I'm about to cancel that one just now. So she stops me like, wait, wait, wait. How much you gonna pay for it? I'm like. What are you talking about? She's like, how much you gonna give me? How much you gonna pay for it? This is expensive pussy. I'm like, ha 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 ha, laugh it off. Cause I'm lit, so I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch talking about? She ain't no prostitute. What are you talking about? I try to go back to her to start kissing her. She's like, no. Yeah, I know, right? You'd be surprised at how many non-prostitutes that do this type of stuff there are out there. Stay vigilant and work on yourselves, guys. Don't love, don't love. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, I'm serious, wait. Like, she got serious, so I'm like, oh, shit, let me get serious, too. She's like, how much are you going to pay for this? This is expensive pussy. You just think I'm going to share my body with you for no reason? That's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. Well, that's what human mating is, isn't it? Like, you like me and I like you, and then we, if we like each other enough, we have sex. It's not if we like each other enough, I give you sheer money, and we have sex. What? <sighs> hypocrites bro the same females that do this type of shit are the same females out there bitching for right oh man we shouldn't be treated like hoes just because we hoeing treat us respectful even if we're not believe our bullshit as well huh? so i'm like okay wait hold on what she's like i charge men in order to have sex with me you want to have sex with me you want to explore this body how much are you going to give me and i was just like I'm not paying anything. What are you talking about? She was like, I charge every man I have sex with. Listen to this. I'm not even going to put this rapper on blast. Never mind. She charged the rapper, she said, literally the month before, 10 bands. And he paid 10 bands. She's like, listen, I know you're not a rapper, so you're not going to pay 10 bands. But I want at least three. Oh, God. Oh, God. Someone paid 10 racks for vagina? Is this really how these dudes are getting their body counts? And my dumb ass have been out here doing it the square way. Building rapport with bitches. Having a good personality, working out, and shit. And it's just, can't fuck money. Oh God, niggas is just buying it. Oh God. It was really messed up too, cause on the other end, I can understand why some of these big dudes are buying it. Females, bro, it's just mostly manipulation and bullshit, bro. Honestly, with a lot of females, and I'm not gonna see even a lot of females, with a good amount of females, paying for it is probably a way cheaper. If I really thought about how much my time is worth, and females, bro, they take their time, so it's like, bro, it take like damn near 30, 40, 50 hours to get the puss sometimes. No, actually, I'm lying. It's probably like five to 10 hours. So shit, find a chick, throw her like 500 bucks. 
skip the bullshit, and you just get straight to the choking and the thrashing it, then do that, that. It makes so much more sense when I think about it from a South Park standpoint. Like when Butters was a pimp and he was selling kisses, and he explained it perfectly. And he's like, look, it's staying over there. She's been yelling at him for an hour and a half. Look how depressed he is. If you ask me, he's paying something way more than the $5 that I'm charging for a kiss. He's only sitting there dealing with that because he thinks she's gonna give him kisses later. <laughs> A pimp named Sweet Meat explains the game to a simp. <laughs> I was like, you want me to give you $3,000 so me and you can have sex? She's like, yes. You're going to be able to enjoy my body. I want to get something out of it. I want. First of all, if there's any females out there that's watching me and stuff, I had a female actually try to get me to give her a G for sex. This was a massage parlor, but it was supposed to be an upscale massage parlor. I really only went for a massage. And the chick was just like, yo, by the way, I charged a thousand dollars for sex like halfway through the massage. And I'm sitting there looking at this out of shape. She's like a four, a strong four is asking for a thousand dollars. And she told me she was married. So the husband's pimping her. Bro, I damn near started laughing at this bitch. Cause I'm at the bro. My brain, me knowing me, I would be charging her 10 racks for sex with me. I'm not paying no G. If I'm smashing free, I'm already doing my, my, I'm already doing my, my, uh, what do you call that shit? I'm already doing a service. And what's funny is a lot of you guys might be like, oh, well, you think like that because you work out. Bro, I'm still this mindset when I was fat. Why you think I never was submitting to women? That's why y'all never see me marrying or wifing up no chick that's disrespectful like some other losers and shit. No. Either you respect me and just come over here and take a whole bunch of dick, or there ain't nothing we could do. Bruh. It's really funny too. I have literally started charging some females for sex, but I use other forms of payment. I'm like, yo, I want a threesome. <laughs> That's how you charge a female. Make her bring her friends. Three bands. I want three thousand dollars. She was like, you can cash at me right now, PayPal, it doesn't matter. I'm good. She started laughing. I'm kinda laughing. I'm thinking she's playing still at this time. Cause this is prostitution, bro. So I'm laughing too. I guess because I was lit. I asked a prostitute if she was a prostitute. She got mad. <laughs> bro, I'm like, yo, you guys pay you to hang out, right? She wasn't technically a prostitute. She was an Instagram model who was trying to get me to give her money. But we had already been having sex. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> we have. <laughs> she was trying to get me to help her pay her bills, but. I've seen how women treat dudes that help them financially, so I didn't want to do that. I would love to simp on a female, but it's a certain level of disrespect that usually come with that shit, so I can't even do it. So I was being extremely just straightforward. I let her know, I'm like, you a prostitute? Like, this is prostitution. It's like, no, I'm not no prostitute. What are you talking about? I ain't no prostitute. I love how a man and this guy have such similar life experiences. What? I'm not no prostitute. No, I'm not. I'm just charging guys for sex. That's not prostitute. Bitch, you a ho, 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 ho. This type of shit is why it's hard to respect women, bro. It's hard. Because they do such unrespectable shit. And then they look you in the face. And you're supposed to go along with it and still treat them like they're not what they clearly are. You're supposed to lie. I have so hard to lie to women. I'm just saying, if you want to explore my body, you have to give me something in return. You could buy me some. I'm giving you some dick. You're welcome. I'm about to choke and smash you out for free. And you think I... I've talked my way out of a lot of free vagina by being arrogant, man. Not a lot of it. I remember this one time, bro, this girl got buck naked, and I got buck naked, and we was about to have sex. I was super attracted to her. She said, like, yo, give me head. And I was like, nah, you give me head. And she's like, no, you give me head. And I was like, what the fuck you did? And I put my clothes back on the left. <laughs> I still regret that one. <laughs> Jesus! An expensive, or you gotta give me three racks. She's like, look around in my apartment. Look around my apartment. She was like, how do you think I'm able to take care of myself, take care of my daughter? She's like, I charge people. So how much do you want? How much you gonna give me? I want three bands. I'm like, yo, my mind was blown because she was so beautiful. She was beautiful. She was smart. She's an Instagram influencer. I was like, three bands, nigga? Automatically turned off. I'm turned off. I did not want her 
at all. But wait, it gets deeper. How? I'm still a little bit confused. She's talking about how you think I afford all this. You see my nice apartment. <laughs> it's a two-bedroom apartment. I got daughter. I got mouth to feed. I got to take care of myself. Woo, woo, woo. So I'm like, okay, every time you have sex, you charge men? She's like, yes. Every single man I have sex with, they pay me. They cash me out for this. She's all like, where have you been? This is what all the girls do. I'm like, what? She told me, all the Instagram influencers, all the girls that's popping, charge these rappers money to have sex with them. She said rappers aren't out here getting bitches like that. They have to pay. I believe that. And it's really funny, and I can say this as someone who is as attractive as I am, it still takes effort. I'm a self-made eight-figure dude, and like still females, granted, I do get a lot of love. I ain't even gonna put it out here and try to act like females is being stingy, because they not. They not being stingy, but this does happen though. Luckily enough for me, I don't know what it is, but like bad females, the Instagram model females, they smash me for free. They're on me the way I should be on them. But only when I see them in person, if I slide to their DMs for some reason, it just never goes good. But if the female sees me, like she meets me and talks to me, and she's really attractive and hazel eyes, and she's like a top one percenter female, she's with it. And for free, I had this one female like three weeks ago. I was at this bar called Berlin out here in Las Vegas. I'm literally talking to this older guy next to me. I'm just talking, talking, and I feel a hand brush down my side, right? Now I know enough about female nature and what females like to know that when a female does that off rip, it means you immediately check off her checklist. You meet her criteria. If female immediately touches you in an erotic zone, you're like a nine. Bro, and I ain't even gonna lie, I turned around, saw her, she bad as fuck. This chick is like a nine and a half. This chick was bad as shit. She's like a 10 and a half, bro. She was bad. Hazel eyes, long hair, perfect fuck, spring break titties, flat stomach, look like she worked out, man, got perfect body. Perfect body. I gotta go find her, actually. She told me where she worked at. I gotta go see her again. Cause her boyfriend walked in and caught her. I turned around, saw her, then turned back around, kept talking about homie I was talking to. He got nervous cause the bitch was so bad. I turned around, started talking to her, and she witted with it. We talking, we laughing, we joking, we cracking jokes. Her boyfriend and his friend walked up on me talking to her, right? And this is a suck situation because, you know, she had a boyfriend, so she had to make it look like she's not for the streets. I don't even like saying for the streets because baby girl was so bad. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna plug her up. Hey, baby girl, if you out there, I'm gonna come back and look for you. She told me to come back and find her, but she used cold language, right? And this is what I really like about women, and this is what I really liked about her. She used cold language in front of him in order to let me know that she was down, but that, you know, she had a situation and shit was cool, right? So no bullshit, her dude walk up or whatever, man, and he has a friend with him, and I didn't really give a shit. I'm still laughing, I'm laughing because she had said some really funny shit because the conversation was so fire, bro. This was like a soulmate of mine. I smelt it on her, bro. There was no nervousness, there was no weirdness. It was just fire ass conversation. I'm dying laughing, she dying laughing. And her boyfriend and his dude and his homeboy walk up and is like, yo, what the fuck? You're sitting here talking to this black guy that looks like he could kill us both if he had one of his hands tied behind his back. He'd still take us both out because he was a white boy. Is this just what you're into? Huh? BBC? Is this what you're into? He was obviously taking care of her. She obviously did not know that I was an eight-figure nigga at this point. And baby girl would have found out that your boy is a self-made eight-figure nigga. It would have been over. But I don't like the brag. I don't like just throwing my shit out there. Female got to find that out. And she got to find that out on her own. Maybe when she see the car in the crib and shit. The female, man, she chewed her boyfriend and her boyfriend's friend away so that she could finish talking to me. I don't know what she told him because I was too busy laughing. She must have told him I was her uncle or some shit. Nigga, I'd have been like, hey, look, I'm her daddy, nigga. I'm her long lost daddy, bro. What's up, nigga? You treat my daughter right? That's what I should have did. Hey, you treat my daughter right? Hey, it's good to meet you, bro. It's good to meet the dude who's taking care of my niece. See, I gotta become a better side nigga, yo. I swear to God, I got y'all. I'm gonna become super side nigga. I'm gonna be so... Because I'm with it. I don't give a shit if she got boyfriend. I don't give a fuck. She can still express herself on me. Just express... Express all of it. <laughs> Get it all out of there. <laughs> I got you, bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> ah, you hurting for a squirting? I can't. You hurting for a squirting? Is your beta male provider struggling at work? Have you lost track of your beta male provider? Is you hurting for a squirting? Well, come on down. To... <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I'm gonna have to tell y'all that story. I'm gonna tell y'all that story on here on one of my other channels. So I'm just like, yo, this is this is cuckoo bananas. She's telling me how all the Instagram influencers, all the rappers, everybody is out here paying for women, and this is how women are getting paid nowadays. They're charging men for sex, they charging them for the nudes, they charging them, you already know, for the OnlyFans. They doing, I was just- Bro, oh my God. Bro, I've been getting all of that for free. Hey, Confidence boost, bitch. Hey, bro, they've been sending me all of that for free. Dude. Man. Everybody? She's like, everybody. Any girl that you talk to that's an Instagram influencer, you're gonna have to cash her out. Bro, I couldn't believe it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, that Instagram model I told you about, the bad one, the, the, all of that shit, bro, she gets paid, bro. She was just now kicking it. Oh my God, I don't even want to say this rapper's name, bro. Okay, but you know what, I never said her name, so I want you guys to think that this isn't the truth. Just think that this isn't the truth, okay? For the sake of this part that I'm telling you, because I'm not supposed to tell you guys this. This chick, she was telling me about how she was hanging out with The weekend. I can't tell the other stuff. Oh my God, bro, g Easy, they pay for that shit, bro, they pay for that. Oh my God, that makes perfect sense. Oh my God, I went out with this one girl and she told me she smashed G-Eazy and she was telling me about how small and how tiny his penis was. And in my brain, I'm just like, how the hell? Cause I always thought G-Eazy was smashing more bitches than me. I, I'm just like, how the fuck is he getting all of these women? But it makes perfect sense now. That's why she smashed him. And this is a different girl. There's another IG model I was kicking it with. She told me she was fucking with Skrillex. She smashed Ed Sheeran. And it makes a lot of sense because the way she talked about these motherfuckers, it don't sound like nobody that's gonna get booty for free. That the female's just gonna smash just cause he's him. Bro, I, that's one thing I say is like, I'm not paying for none of these Instagram models, bro. I'm strictly penis, yo. I'm not the money dude. I got money and I'm down to go do money shit. If the female is cool enough, if the female come correct and she got a personality that I really like, but I'm not paying for that shit. I'm not paying for sex. I'm not paying for that. Yo, you the one that's about to like bust all these nuts. I deserve the money. I deserve the money. I gotta start getting females to pay. I'm gonna start seeing if I could do that. Get these Instagram model bitches to pay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna try to have a story about this because I'm about to try. I'm gonna try to have a story. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be funny. Suffice to say, after that, she picked up on my vibe. She picked up on the fact that I was kind of judging her. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was just like so fucking, my mind was blown, you feel me? So anyway. Dude, the reason why something like that would turn me off, because that immediately lets me know that that girl thinks that I am a loser. I'm not having sex with that. If you ask a dude like, yo, give me the money. In my eyes, you think I'm a loser. Maybe that's why I've never had that happen to me because I've never hung out with a girl that didn't see me as that nigga. I don't hang out with any female unless she treats me like I'm that nigga. If she don't treat me like that, bro, then she, I'm not gonna kick it. I don't wanna kick it. There's other females that treat me better. I'm gonna kick it with one of them. This is how my mindset is. She picked up on my vibe. She knew I wasn't about to pay because I've never paid no woman for sex. I ain't paying you for no sex. What are you talking about? So she was just like, listen, you ain't gonna pay, you gotta go. You gotta go. Right. You ain't paying for nothing, you gotta go. She was right. like, I thought you was gonna be with it. I saw that you have no. over 600,000 followers. I know you got money. You could easily give me three bands while no. you playing woo woo. No. I was just like, I ain't doing it. Nope. Nigga, she kicked me out of her house. <laughs> but Shit, I'd have left. I would have left. I've done it before. Oh yeah, I don't like this, I'm out. I'd have left. And yes, I've left out on a lot of vagina doing shit like that, but I'll just leave. I ain't doing this, bro. You ain't, mm -hmm. Listen, bro, I needed to say this to you guys so y'all can realize these Instagram influencers, they not everything that they cracked up to be, man. Yes, they look good. Yes, they take care of their bodies. Yes, they're doing what they're supposed to do to get the bag. But they care about the bag so much that they're literally selling their bodies for the bag. I didn't realize that. I just wanted to let y'all know this. 
Everybody stay woke. This is why I'm on semen retention. A lot of people have been asking me, Brandon, why you say you're not going to have sex? Why you on semen retention? These women out here, they going crazy. I don't know about normal women. Normal women aren't attracted to me anymore. I got tattoos in my head. God, jeez, so it's not just me! Oh my God, this guy's like a best friend or some shit. Jesus! Bad bitches and Instagram models are after me. Those women treat me like I'm the shit. When I run into the regular looking females, the fours, the fives, and the five and a half, I don't know, it's weird, bro. Them females, I guess they're so used to using manipulation that when it don't work on me, they get turned off. I don't know, but real shit, bro. Nigga, this nigga speaking facts. Regular females, bro, it's, I don't know, yo. And it's been like that for a minute. I've gotten around some of the brokest, lamest twos and threes. And they be stingy with the pussy. Like, oh, nah, you ain't, nah, you don't get none of this. Ah, no, you don't, nah. And they be coming on to me. But the minute I come back on to them, they're like, ah, no, you can't have it. Ah, no, you can't. Ah, I was, yeah, I took my clothes off. But then you tried to touch my leg. And I was like, ah, no, absolutely not. I asked you for sex. The minute you said yes, I immediately knew I didn't want to anymore. But like bad females, they don't do that. It's so crazy. Crazy, yo. It's fucking crazy. Tattoos on my neck, tattoos on my face, and you know what I'm saying? So I look like, I don't know. I look like something. So normal women aren't necessarily attracted to me anymore. Only girls that are attracted to me are like the Instagram influencers. But yeah, bro, they all want something in return. All of them. That's why I'm- Bitch, get this dick the fuck shit. In the way I feel, man, I- It was just me. I thought I was the only one that had this issue, bro. That video about flight, I'm like, flight, I know every girl you're dealing with wants something in return, because they all do, bro. I could definitely see flight paying for a lot of vagina, bro. That nigga probably paying for that shit. Dude, that's the reason why my body count is so freaking low, is because I don't pay for the shit. I'll just find a chick who likes taking a whole bunch of penis, creating voiceover dubs, and watching me as I create. We'll go out and hang out, get some food, go to a water park, stay at a nice hotel and shit, get your back, leg, and neck broke out, all of that blown out. I don't know people saying nowadays. We do all that, but I ain't trying to just fork over no cheddar, yo. I ain't throwing no bread. That's why the only females I date are females that like the bus nuts. You got to come chill with me in my crib, order a whole bunch of food, we bullshit, we chill, we vibe out, you know, roll a blunt and shit, hit a little cardiovascular exercise for a little bit, and then after we're done exercising, hit the showers and go to the movies or, you know, go party on a yacht or some shit like that. Because if you pay, the chick loses attraction. If I get the pussy for free, then we will be fuck buddies. But if I pay you and shit, I don't really know how it goes. Honestly, it's not really my thing, so. But this story was crazy shit, man. I did not know this, but now I know this. And from the Instagram model females that I have hung out with, this seems to be the vibe. But bro, I done had countless Instagram models just throw it at me. Instagram influencers, we be kicking in the person and shit. Bro, I don't know, something about my demeanor or what. I think it's my past, like all my, I don't know what it is. This dude has said he's never had to pay. I've never even had an Instagram model bring that up to me. Whenever I kick it with an Instagram influencer, especially if she bad, it'll take three, four days or some shit like that. Sometimes a whole lot less. <laughs> a couple of hours or so, but they just sit on me. But hey, yes, bro. Yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Oh. Woo, woo, I've been holding that fart in for a minute. I needed that one. Smell setting in, I gotta go. Okay, so yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. God damn. Oh man, it was that steak. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blast from Sage D. We about to just be hatch. Mm -hmm.